Hi everyone, this is a little bit of an unplanned episode. With the very sad news of Kevin Conroy passing recently, I've decided to re-watch Batman the Animated Series in preparation for kind of a tribute video to him because that guy meant a lot to me. He's the voice I've heard as Batman ever since being a child and to me, he is Batman and he always will be and I would love to do a tribute video so I will be doing that in the future. But in preparation, I've been watching Batman the Animated Series and I would just like to show you my Blu-ray set today. There are a couple of different sets out there, but in my opinion, this is just beautiful compared to the rest. And I'm going to show you exactly why today, just in case you haven't got this Blu-ray set or if you are a digital only collector, you probably wouldn't know anything about this. So I thought I'd just do a very quick video today, just showing you exactly what is in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Okay, so the set comes in this very attractive box. Very standard um, Blu-ray box set box. But then when you actually slide out the inner, it's more like a book. And it's got these very, very nice embossed characters all over it. As you can see, it is really beautiful. It's well, it is a piece of art holding Blu-ray discs. It's really nice. As you can see on the spine as well, it's got this foil logo effect. Like I said, you'll have to excuse the uh, video quality. I wasn't planning on doing this video today. I just decided on the fly whilst um, watching Batman the Animated Series and I thought this is really cool and maybe you'd want to see it. So as we open up, like I said, it's like a book format and for each page, which holds the discs, you get the, um, the episode information, the special features information, but you also get a really nice piece of artwork on each page. And we'll just flip through them now and I'll show you every single one. I also forgot to mention that this box set also has the animated movies Mask of the Phantasm, which in my opinion is probably one of the best Batman films ever made, and Sub-Zero, which is also very, very good. 